In this problem we have a vat of oil with an air bubble in it. We're told that this air bubble has a radius of 1.4 millimeters and that the oil has a specific gravity of 0.82 and a viscosity of 0.15 pascal seconds. Now we're also told the temperature of this whole system is room temperature. Room temperature is 20 degrees Celsius plus 273 to convert to Kelvin gives us 293 Kelvin. Now we're asked to find the uh, terminal velocity of this air bubble. So let's put the forces on this air bubble to start. So I'll draw a little, all the forces that are acting on this bubble. So we have the weight of the bubble itself acting downward. Now the bubble is made of air, so we're calling that the weight of air. Now we're also going to have a drag force. Since this bubble itself is moving up, we'll, call, we'll show that its velocity is up. There's going to be a drag force on the bubble. So the drag force is going to go down. Since the motion is up, drag force is down, which is why we have a terminal velocity. So we're going to call this our FD for drag force. And the last force we have is actually going to be a buoyancy force of this bubble, which is going to be the weight of the... It's going to be upward, and buoyancy force is always equal to the weight of the fluid displaced, so I'm going to call that WO for weight of the oil. Now, the drag force is a formula that we have. Drag force is equal to uh, 6 pi n r v, where n is our viscosity, r the radius, and v is our velocity that we're looking for. So now, all we need to do is sum up our forces equal to 0. Sum our forces equals 0. So we're going to have, in the positive direction, because I've de defined positive as upward, our weight of the oil displaced, our buoyancy force, minus FD minus WA. So minus the weight of the air bubble, minus our drag force equals 0. So the weight of the oil displaced is going to be the mass of the oil displaced times gravity. I'm going to say mass of oil times gravity, minus, now the weight of the air bubble is the mass of the air bubble, times gravity, minus our uh, drag force is 6 pi nRV, equals 0. Okay, so the next thing to do is actually figure out what these masses are. Now we know we have a density formula where we could say, Density is equal to mass divided by volume. Now, we have masses in there, so we want to solve for mass and get mass is equal to density times volume. So that's what we're going to put into this equation here. So we have mass of our oil is density of our oil times volume of our oil, which is actually the volume of this air bubble. So I will call that volume of the air bubble, because that's the mass of the oil displaced, the volume of the oil displaced, minus, or sorry, times G, because this is M, rho V, times G, minus uh, mass of the air bubble, which is going to be rho of air times V of air times G. I'm just going to write this velocity a little different with a little tail so we know that it's velocity and not volume. Minus 6 pi n r v equals 0. Okay, so the next thing to do is let's just uh, solve for v here. Let's solve for that v. So I basically have to add these to the other side. Well, add, actually, I'll add this to the other side so it's positive. So we're going to have V equals, so we're left with rho of oil, V A G, minus rho A, V A G, and divided by 6 pi N R. Okay, so rho of air is 1.2 kilograms per meter cubed. 
that's uh, given that's a given a known quantity. So I'll write that here. Rule of air equals 1.20 kilogram per cubic meter. Okay. Now, rule of oil we're going to use by our specific gravity. So if you have a specific gravity, I mean density of that thing is basically just its specific gravity times the density of water because it's a comparison of its density to water. So we can say that the rho of oil is equal to specific gravity times rho of water. Which, and we know rho of water is just a thousand, so basically our density of oil is going to be 820. So it's 0.82 times 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, which gives us 820 kilograms per cubic meter. Okay, so what we're going to do now is plug basically all of our knowns into here, solve for our velocity. So I'm running out of room here, so I'm just going to plug in this row is 820. I'm actually going to factor, so I'm going to have rho, I'm going to have 820 kilograms per meter cubed. So if, I'm going to factor VA times G out of that, minus a rho of air, which is 1.2 kilograms per meter cubed. Okay. So I've just factored VA and G out, so that left me with a rho of oil minus a rho of air. air times, I have to leave VA and G in there now, so the volume of air, this is a sphere, volume of sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed, so I'm going to put that in here, 4 thirds pi, now r cubed goes in there, so that's going to be the radius is 1.4 millimeters, 1.4 millimeters, cubed, 4 thirds pi r cubed, then we've got to multiply this again by g now, so g is going to have to go 9.81 in here. Okay, now when we cube this out, make sure we put this in meters, so this is millimeters right now, so make sure we put 1.4 times 10 to the minus 3 cubed, otherwise you won't get the correct answer. The units will be wrong, you'll have it in millimeters cubed instead of meters cubed, so make sure you write that out. We have 6 pi, our n is 0 0.15 Pascal seconds times a radius of 1.4 millimeters. So again, instead of millimeters, I will write it as 0 0.0014 meters. So that's the value you have to plug in here for your millimeters. So and after you plug all these numbers in, you get a velocity of 0 0.0232 meters per second. Rounded significant digits gives us 2.3 centimeters per second. That's your final answer.